What's up, y'all? We uh, got a little uh, 660 build going on here. So what the deal is, this is Cajun's cylinder. He sent me this cylinder a good while back. Told me when I had time. He wanted it ported. So, I finally got a little break. Well, what I thought it was a little break. And, uh, I decided to go ahead and port it. Well, this is my kit. So, I am assembling this kit. And I want to put Cajun cylinder on it. And see how it does. So I did it a little different than my last one. I'm going to run it a little bit. And if I'm happy with it. I'm just going to yank it off there. And, sh and mail in the cylinder. So. Here we are. Should be a little farther ahead than I am, but see you how know, things are. But it won't take too long to throw the rest of the saw together. I got another uh, G444 in to build another 460 light for Fat Matt's Chop Shop. It's not really for him. I can't remember the name of her channel. His friend has a tree service. And the, the G111 I built was for her too. But she run Fat Matt's 460 light and she had to have one. <laughs> so... I just got it today. It's a blue, a blue saw, three quarter wrap. I got a cylinder here already. Uh, as soon as I get this done, I'll be starting on that. Oh, the pain. Get in there. Get it just right, it falls in. Now this is a Duke's. Duke's Premium or whatever they call it. I don't know if it's the Premium or not. Anyway, it's a, it's a Duke cylinder. Crazy intake timing on a stock. Like stupid. 85. That's way too much. So. I epoxy the snot out of it. I got it back up to. 78. Good spot. We'll go there. 70, uh, 97, 116, 78. Not super short in the blow down, but I don't want it to be a tractor, you know what I mean? I want, I want it to have some, as much speed as one can take. Which, the last one I built for goats. A freaking animal, and it had a 95 exhaust roof. And this one's got 97. This ought to work out good, but without having a exact recipe 
yet that I'm, I'm dead set on using a 660. I want to try it. We got a gasket on there. Got a couple NH865 Neotex today. Thanks to two stroke and chainsaws. Gonna be some future builds. What cylinder I'll run on, I'm not sure yet. Or something out. There'll be some fun builds. Nice little three sixty five clones. This will be cool. All right. Yeah, you know, I suppose we need to start with this oil pump. What do you think? three so I will get this knocked out for show hopefully get started on Matt's build I don't think I got anything crazy to do NGKR. Having a hard time believing that's really an NGK, but whatever. Now I want to modify this decomp. Bit. 
parts laid out here. Got uh, Tyson's 372 in the mail today. It's on its way to Wyoming. Way out here. Check him out on YouTube. He's got a channel. Seems like a pretty cool dude. All the kits, I don't know, probably 440 and 660s I've done the most. I don't even know how many I've built now. I don't know, I've built a lot of 372s too, recently. Lots of them. Get out of there. Uh, it's not say farmer tech on it. it says pan fang. What about that? Uh, let me find some bolts here for the old oil pump. There's needle. A couple of these little guys. somewhere that one right there that sits right in there I know most people don't need a saw this big, but bang for your buck for power. If, you, if you're not into any kind of modifying port and stuff. You can take one of these right here and do some serious work with one stock. For real. Of myself, I gotta put this dang chain break on. Anyway, 
I want to start shortening my videos up some. See if I can get more views with them. They seem to do better around 10 to 15 minutes. So, I know that ain't a lot of information, but I'm going to try it. All right, y'all. Hold on. We'll be right back. Later.